We're here at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, where a large team of engineers and scientists are getting ready to launch the NPOST Preparatory Project. Better known as the MPP satellite, it is the nation's first attempt to combine weather and climate observations on the same platform. It's also here at Vandenberg where the NPP spacecraft is sitting atop a Delta II rocket. And we're gonna take you inside, talk to the project scientists about what this mission means, and follow the engineers in their final steps leading the countdown. What are the goals of the MPP mission? We want to continue the scientific measurements that NASA satellites have been making over the past decade and improve the measurements that will be used for weather forecasting. What's special about launching here from Vandenberg? Vandenberg is a very special place. It's um, where we can do the polar orbiting launches. We can launch south and into a safe zone over the ocean. Why a polar orbit? A polar orbit lets you view the entire Earth twice a day, which is very important for our measurements. Describe what we're seeing here in the tower. Okay, the uh, building on the uh, uh, left is uh, the Mobile Service Tower, or MST. It's a uh, 177 feet tall, and it's on wheels. Once the tower is retracted, you'll see the rocket in, uh, in all its glory. It's uh, very exciting. The uh, building on the right is the uh, fixed umbilical tower. That provides the air conditioning and other umbilicals over to the vehicle that are required all the way through uh, T0. What's going to be witnessed here on the ground after the count reaches zero? Ah, you see the, uh, the engines ignite, the uh, rocket lifts off very quickly. After about two minutes, the rocket's pretty much out of sight. It goes really quick. This is Mobile Service Tower Level 2. This is an eight-foot diameter tank. The Delta II carries 10,000 gallons of RP-1 fuel. So this is what a 10,000 gallon fuel tank looks like. We're standing now on Level C of the Mobile Service Tower at the forward end of the solid rocket motors. They're 40 inch diameter and each solid motor is 42 and a half feet long. These solid motors each put out 100,000 pounds of thrust. Underneath, under the red blanket, is the Rocketdyne RS-27A main engine, and that uh, puts out about 250,000 pounds of thrust. So in this configuration, at liftoff, 850,000 pounds of thrust. These motors will be jettisoned after about a minute and a half, two minutes of flight, and uh, they'll end up in the bottom of the ocean. We're here outside the Mission Director Center and we're joined by Jerry Nagy, the NPP Launch Operations Manager from Goddard Space Flight Center. And Jerry, what happens here on the day of launch? Okay, well, this is really the hub of uh, communication where the various management organizations from United Launch Alliance, uh, NASA Kennedy Space Flight Center, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, and Ball Aerospace will take inputs from all the people that are supporting the launch and give the okay to actually launch the rocket. How far are we from the tower right now? Uh, we're approximately 12 miles from the launch pad. This is where the entire launch management team at the night of launch assembles. Each one of these rows have what we call back rooms. So you have people in other parts of the facility and in Vandenberg who are doing the engineering aspect of what they're doing. So this all feeds together, we integrate, and as we get closer to launch, each one of these groups has a person who says go. So how do the people in this room prepare for launch day? We actually have an event called a mission dress rehearsal. So we're all here, we have the countdown script, and then there's a team that has developed simulated anomalies for us. And each one of those groups need to try to work through those and get them back to a go criteria and then continue on. It's fully operational again. So the final go is given in this room? Yes, the final go is given in this room. How do you think it's gonna feel for you emotionally when you actually see that reaching into orbit. The safest place for a satellite is in orbit. The emotions of making sure it's finally in its home, it finally gets to do its job, uh, it, you know, it's, it's hard to describe. What makes the aerospace industry so exciting is that one day a person can have a concept to meet our nation's needs, which leads to many dedicated people working for quite a few years throughout the entire development until one day a satellite like NPP is ready for launch.